Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I just have a couple of brief statements. I, I'll have a, plenty of questions by mail. But um, I, I, one of the statements I heard today was this pot instead of that pot. And uh, another one was three buses. And uh, my district is kind of a little bit different. Uh, it, it's a district the size of Pennsylvania. It has 12 Native American reservations on it. And uh, some of the kids in, in, in go to school with um, on a bus two hours e one way. And it also uh, has a, some of them have anywhere from a 50% to an 80% unemployment rate. Uh, and sometimes people can't get out of their homes after a big storm uh, because of the condition of roads to get to the store. So we have the urban setting, the rural setting, and then we have these very rural settings. And uh, I'm, I'm just trying to understand, uh, I, I'm not understand, but caution us that as we look at this whole problem, uh, that, that, that we, uh, the cost of stores is an important aspect to me. Because in, in my area, stores are very far apart, obviously, and the food that's in those stores is much more limited in scope than other stores uh, in urban areas. Uh, we, we also have uh, the uh, concern that uh, the, the education uh, level on, on nutrition is very low. And I appreciate the cooking classes and everything else, but it's kind of hard to get a, to a cooking class if you're uh, two hours away from the nearest class. And, and uh, so, uh, between the quality of the merchandise, the, 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 the concern I have for the distances traveled, uh, the unacceptable unemployment rates, uh, I just want to just caution everybody when we th start to think about this a little more, that uh, the, the entire process, uh, and I don't think there's anybody here that doesn't care about nutrition for our families and our children. Uh, but we we also have to understand the realities of uh, life in some areas of uh, of America. Thank you. I, I yield.